and this is Lee Hendricks and welcome to my channel that is mostly about gold prospecting in North Carolina. Uh, today it's Saturday February 20th and it's gotten above freezing now it's probably about 36 37 degrees and only going up about another eight degrees today so pretty chilly uh, the air is moving around pretty good today so it's got a bit of a bite but uh, so I decided to stay out of the water as much as possible I'm gonna try to do some shoveling and high banking uh, but I'm back in Moxville, uh, the same place. Uh, there's not as much gold as in Uari, but there's a lot more liberty here. So I'm going to take uh, advantage of that freedom and do some high banking here. And uh, before I get started, I want to do some sampling. I saw a really unique area in the bank that's washed out that I wanted to show you. And I bought my pan and my shovel down here. Let me flip you around. I'll show you what I'm looking at. So you see we've got a pretty good wash zone right here where it's taking out the bank and uh, that bank must have been, uh, you know, deposited many, many years ago and it's stacked up rocks and hopefully there's uh, a lot of black sand and some gold in that. So I'm going to check this out and see there's some nice bedrock up here later when things get warmer and I get back to trying that dredging again this will probably be a good spot to do some uh, some work at Let's take a sample right here. It's like a little petrified wood right there. I don't see any visible gold, but uh, there was a lot of black. Actually, there is a tiny speck of gold right there. Well, two samples and I haven't found anything showing me there's gold, a lot of black sand. I might just try right here in this first drop off here and get down under some of this, these rocks here. Some big pieces of lead. 
So that was a good spot, just not for gold. Actually, that piece right there, these are, that's not lead. I'm going to take those home. I'm not sure if that's not... There may be a little bit of gold in that little rock right there. I don't know. Well, I'm wasting time. Let's get back to uh, the main show here. Okay, so I'm back where I was thinking to set up first because I think I can dig out of that real easy. And I'm in the sun, obviously. And my refreshment is waiting for me. It's about three o'clock, so I've been running this for a little over three hours. There's the, the big rocks, and that's pretty good pile of tailings there. You can see some black sand still made it out. There's a whole bunch of it in the keen sluice, a little bit in that uh, Angus McCurt. And then we got the royal sluice, and I was looking, I see gold. It's amazing how small it can be and still get trapped in these ripples. So, looks like a good piece right in there. Let's found some trash. That's not gold. Get this quartz rock. Kind of looks interesting to me. Might be worth breaking up a piece of old glass. So you have to be careful when you're moving the rocks out of your, your grate. Pretty little quartz rock. Yeah, that's the coolest thing right there. So I guess I'll, uh, I'm not going to like tear apart these sluices. I'm just going to take them and uh, submerge them in a bucket of water and spin them real fast. That should get 
the majority of the gold. I'm not going to clean off the carpets too much. Um, same with the big ones. There's probably not a lot of gold in this part, but, you know, I saw some gold with my digital microscope the other day, so I want to keep as much of this black sand as possible. Might be holding enough gold to make it work. Well, I'll just try to get some of that back. But I do not see any big pieces of gold anywhere, so I haven't got onto any big gold today. Testament to uh, Gorilla Tape right there. This connection fit really tight, but it, it wasn't uh, threaded. It's just smooth, and uh, so I had to use some duct tape to keep it from spurting water on the carburetor there. It's working. Um, so far, so good. black sand. A lot of it came out too. Here's what was in the uh, first sluice. I'll pan this out and show you. Well, I know I'm getting some gold. Well, there's probably three or four times that in all this black sand. It's pretty hard to get out. So I'm gonna take it home, classify it down, and then run it on the water table. Here's uh, what Angus McKirk has. It's very small. Uh, there's one of the bigger pieces I found, but there's a lot of finds. See those little specks? So uh, that's all mixed up in this black sand. There's a whole lot of it. So I'm going to dump that in the bucket with the first batch. And then I'm going to dump this in and run that through my classifier right there and dump dump it in i don't think i'll see any gold in this uh, unless i use the microscope so i'm just going to save that and run that later but i uh, still got maybe an hour before i need to pack up so i might uh, put a little more gas in that thing and uh, dig a little bit more